Hello, hello Capricorn, it's your turn for uh, your monthly reading. Um, I just have the cards out here because of the time wise on the phone, on the phone so uh, it would be a lot easier just to go into it like this um, until I get a new phone of mine. Um, the space on this phone is not very much so that's why I'm doing it like that. Anyways. First card of the deck that came out was the King of Swords in Reverse. Four of Swords in Reverse. King of Wands in Reverse. The Emperor in Reverse. Man, Virgo got a lot of reverses. Maybe you're dealing with a Virgo. <laughs> Lovers in Reverse. Page of Cups in Reverse. Five of Cups in Reverse. Uh, Nine of Swords in Reverse, Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Wands in Reverse, and Six of uh, Swords in Reverse, and the Magician in Reverse at the bottom of the deck. Alright, I get moved in here. Alright, so I'm feeling with the Queen of Swords, or King of Swords, sorry about that, coming into the month of uh, September. You know, it's all about speaking truth maybe there's a truth you need to be spoken um, maybe not choosing to be cunning with your words maybe not choosing to um, you know to be negative in some way I'm feeling with this card because the king of swords you know is someone who means serious business you know is willing to cut through anything that needs to be cut through you know, and I feel like as in reverse, you're, you're being very cautious, I feel like, in the month of September, or you're going to be cautious with how you speak to people. Um, I don't know, maybe there is a truth you need to be spoken, but you're not speaking it with someone, maybe. Um, I feel like with the five of swords in reverse, I feel like this is maybe some downtime that you've, you know, been enlightened about some truths. Maybe about yourselves. Maybe you're recovering from something that really got you in your head about something. That when it comes to, you know, maybe this air sign. You know, I see air. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Gemini, um, Pisces. Let's see, this is Sagittarius energy things of that nature, you know, you're trying to figure it out, and I feel like you've done a lot of figuring out when it comes to, you know, maybe your truth that hasn't been spoken, maybe a truth that you're still trying to figure out, you know, maybe figuring out this other person when it comes to their truth, like maybe you know something, maybe there's something um, still there, hidden, alright, Knight of Wands, I feel like you're moving forward, you're moving, you know, in a direction, so I feel like maybe there was harsh communication coming towards you, uh, maybe in the past of some kind recently, um, but I feel like you're moving forward, you're having a better perception on the situation when it comes to, you know, how you come across, how you speak, um, how you deal with this harsh communication, that's what I'm getting. Um, the Emperor, I feel like the Emperor could be your energy you're carrying on. Um, I think that has a lot to do with, you know, taking back your power when it comes to, you know, toxicity, when it comes to things that are harsh to you in life, um, when it comes to, you know, your well-being. Maybe this is part of your, you know, kind of like your, you need to take some downtime too, possibly. Um, but I feel like you're gaining um, your power in this time. Um, when it comes to, you know, you had to recover from something that was harsh, something that came in quick, possibly. Um, the lovers here, like I said, you could be dealing with a Gemini. Um, you know, maybe this is something in a past connection with someone. Um, I feel like you're trying to better understand this connection, whatever this connection was, when it comes to, you know, your recovering when it comes to, you know, harsh things maybe in the past that we've done with this connection, I feel like it's helping you step into your power in some way. And then the Page of Cups, I feel like, you know, this could be, I don't know why I was thinking it's secret or admirer. Maybe you have a secret or admirer. 
Uh, this is about surprises, love, new love. Um, but I just feel like in the reverse, you know. Maybe something happened surprisingly with this connection that you were connected to in the past. Um, that maybe was very draining and somehow. And that's why you're recovering. Maybe something... You know, it, it could be anything. It could be a job. It could be people. You know, they wanted more from you than you really needed. And so you lost control of the situation. It was very harsh. Maybe something was harsh to you in a connection of some sort. Or maybe a job situation. Um, now you have the five of um, cups here. So I'm feeling like, you know, you're still... You're kind of still saddened by this connection. Maybe there was an ending of some kind with this connection. Um, maybe with this Aries. Um, that got you in a very uncomfortable position in life. Where maybe you didn't have the voice to speak it. And usually Capricorns are really good about speaking their truth. It's just maybe there was something blocking you from opening up to this maybe Aquarius or to this Aries possibly or to someone of that nature where you couldn't really speak something and I felt like you had to you had to go within you had to look at the odds of everything you know um, look at you know the connection one last time and I felt like you know maybe for some of you you know you didn't expect this to end with this connection, but I feel like, you know, it helped you get into your power. It helped you speak in some way. Uh, maybe there were things unsaid, left um, out in the open that you couldn't really speak with a connection. But I feel like you're trying to get a better perception about this uh, past connection. And then you have the Nine of Swords. So... You know, maybe this airy person or someone, you know, you felt like, you know, you were stuck. You were stuck in, you know, this kind of feeling of feeling powerless about a situation. Um, but I feel like you're trying to move past that. So you can bring in the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like you've gone through a lot of healing, Capricorn, to, you know, really look at this past connection as... You know, it's maybe shockingly, surprisingly ended quickly, soon. And you've had to done a lot of grieving with it. You know, it could be a friend. It could be something that maybe you don't have a chance to speak something to this person, wh whoever that is. And, you know, you still had to grieve. So maybe you had to grieve alone with it. Um, but I feel like you've had to go through this healing process so you can receive a new opportunity. Maybe new love. Maybe new things coming for you. Whether it's a job. Whether this job had you in some way feeling powerless. Feeling like you weren't making enough. Or, you know, something of that nature. And then the Queen of Wands in reverse. You know, it's in reverse, but I feel like you're stepping into your power. And then, you know, the Six. Six is so... Six of Swords, so I feel like you're stepping into this, you know, elegant, radiant energy in the month of September, of letting go of things that aren't serving you, so you can bring in new opportunities, and it's easy to get in the negative aspect of, you know, if it is a connection that was strong, or even a twin flame dynamic, you know, it's easy to get in these predicaments when we don't feel safe, when we don't feel like they're not giving to something or you can't speak of something and I feel like this past connections helped you open up your heart chakra in some way so you can empower yourself um, so maybe in some way it was draining for you to go through all this but I feel like it's helped you to finally let go of some things so you can move in a direction and manifest you know the magician card <clears throat> manifest something in, in more of a peaceful situation but I feel like whatever this past connection was you know it was draining you know you may have not had the answers why it surprisingly ended 
you know, this could be family, this could be friends, and not that nature, of course. All that resonates with you, of course. Um, doesn't have to be family, whatever. Um, could be someone <clears throat> that has strong Aries placements or, uh, <clears throat> um, you know, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So I feel like, you know, whatever this connection was, it, it made you grieve a lot, you know. It made you depleted a lot, but I feel like you're recovering from it, whatever, but heartbreak of it all, you know, learning to forgive yourself, learning to accept yourself, to open up your heart again to the possibility of new love, if that is a, um, something that resonates. Um, but I feel like, <clears throat> you know, sometimes we have to let go of things so we can fully see who we are at the end of the day. And I feel like this connection, whatever this past connection was, it helped you open up your heart you know, to the possibility that, you know, things could have gone wrong, things could have been said wrong or harsh to you, but I feel like you're recovering, and so you can fully open up to, you know, new possibilities. It's easy to get stuck into the cycle of never-ending cycle where, you know, <clears throat> is it going to be okay to love again? Is it, is it going to be okay to open, you know, your heart. I feel like for a lot of you, you've been having a lot of, you know, throat chakra issues of not speaking your truth, and I feel like you're coming into your power, Capricorn. So I feel like, you know, you're going to start feeling better in some way once you, you know, realize your worth in the situation. I feel like some of you haven't been feeling your worth maybe in a love connection. This could be even now you know, where something unexpectedly stopped, something wasn't given in the right manner, the right way, and I feel like it's helping you to speak your truth, it's helping you, you know, really know what is your truth, your value, whether it's, you know, it's not so much money, it's not so much relationship, but finding yourself again within this connection that was lost, maybe years ago, maybe there is lifetime ago. And I feel like you're learning to let those go. Let go maybe of the idea of things that aren't working for you. Things that are blocking you. So that you can, you know, move forward with your passions. Move forward in a direction where you see things clearer. Anyways, I hope that resonates with one of you out there. Bye-bye.